Have you ever wondered what would happen if sharks, the apex predators of the ocean, evolved to become land predators? That's quite a thought, isn't it? But let's take a step back and dive into the concept of evolution. Evolution, a process that's been shaping life on Earth for billions of years, is a dance of adaptation and survival. It's a fascinating spectacle of nature, allowing species to change, to adapt, and to conquer new territories. It's the very reason we have such a diverse range of organisms, each perfectly suited to their environment. Now let's turn our attention to sharks. These creatures are the embodiment of aquatic perfection, built like torpedoes, armed with multiple rows of razor-sharp teeth and equipped with an acute sense of smell, sharks are formidable predators in the water. They've been the reigning champions of the ocean for over 400 million years. Now imagine, what if these underwater predators evolved to conquer the land? How could sharks possibly adapt to life on land? Now that's a question that would make even the most imaginative minds real. Let's start off with a fundamental requirement. Breathing. Right now, sharks breathe underwater through their gills, extracting oxygen from the water that flows over them. But on land, they'd need a more efficient system. Lungs. Just like dolphins and whales, descendants of terrestrial mammals who returned to the sea, our hypothetical land sharks would need to develop lungs to extract oxygen from the air. Next up, locomotion. Underwater, sharks are perfectly designed with streamlined bodies and powerful tails for propulsion. On land, however, they'd need something sturdier. Think legs. And not just any legs. Strong, muscular ones to support their weight and enable them to move efficiently. Picture a crocodile's legs, but on a shark. Then there's the matter of skin. Sharks have tough, sandpaper-like skin that helps reduce friction as they swim. On land, they'd need to develop skin that can protect them from the elements, retain moisture, and perhaps even help regulate body temperature. And let's not forget they'd also need to adapt their senses. Sharks are known for their exceptional sense of smell and electroreception, the ability to detect electrical fields produced by other organisms. On land, these senses might not be as effective. They'd need to develop more enhanced vision and hearing, similar to that of land predators. Let's take a leaf out of nature's playbook for a moment. The mudskipper, a type of fish that spends a lot of its time out of water, might give us some clues. Mudskippers have evolved lungs-like air chambers for breathing and strong pectoral fins to walk on land. They've even adapted their eyes to see clearly both underwater and in air. So, we've seen that nature does make these leaps, given the right pressure and time. But would these changes be enough to transform sharks from fearsome sea predators to the ultimate land predators? So, could these adaptations turn sharks into the ultimate land predators? Only time and perhaps a dash of imagination can tell. What could the introduction of such a predator mean for existing land ecosystems? Let's dive into this thrilling thought experiment. Imagine for a moment a world where sharks don't just lurk in the ocean depths, but roam our forests, fields and cities. These land sharks evolved and adapted would undoubtedly have a profound effect on the delicate balance of our ecosystems. Wherever they go, they would bring a ripple of change, much like a stone thrown into a pond, and the first waves of this ripple would likely be felt by other species, both prey and predators. Picture the food chain as a complex, intricate web. At its heart, the land shark, a formidable predator, would cause a seismic shift. Their prey, whether deer, dogs, or even larger animals, might suddenly find themselves on the brink of extinction. This isn't because they aren't capable or adaptable, but because they simply aren't prepared for such a swift and relentless hunter. And what about the other predators? Lions, tigers, bears, all used to being at the top of the food chain, might suddenly find themselves competing with a new apex predator. This could lead to conflict, territorial disputes, and perhaps even a drastic reduction in their numbers. But the impact of the land shark wouldn't stop there. The potential for mass extinctions could reverberate throughout the ecosystem. With certain species gone, the animals and plants they interacted with would also be affected, leading to a domino effect of ecological disruption. The vegetation that the prey species used to eat might overgrow, while the scavengers that relied on the remains left by predators might starve. Even the smallest creatures, from insects to microorganisms, could face changes as the ecosystems they rely on shift and transform. In essence, the introduction of land sharks could send shockwaves through our ecosystems, altering them in ways that are almost impossible to predict. From the smallest insect to the largest mammal, no creature would be left untouched by this evolutionary upheaval. Could our ecosystems handle such a radical change? 
Well that's a question that only time and perhaps evolution itself could answer. And what about us? How would humans fare in a world where sharks roam the land? Picture this. A world where our daily routines are dictated not by the clock, but by the movements of these terrestrial predators. We would have to adapt, modify, and even revolutionize our ways of life to accommodate this new reality. Our diets would inevitably change. With the oceans now relatively safer, marine life could flourish, redefining our seafood menus. But on land, our livestock farming practices would need to evolve, to protect our resources from these roaming predators. Our cities, our transportation, our recreational activities, all would need to be redesigned with the presence of land sharks in mind. Safety measures would become paramount, with shark-proof barriers becoming as common as traffic lights. And then comes the million-dollar question. With these apex predators sharing our space, would we, the apex predators of today, simply become another item on the shark's menu? Now that we've pondered these questions, what do you think a world with land sharks would look like? It's a thought-provoking notion, isn't it? Imagine sharks, these powerful underwater predators, making the monumental leap to become land dwellers. The evolutionary changes required would be nothing short of extraordinary. And what about the impact on ecosystems? Sharks, already apex predators in their own aquatic realms, could potentially disrupt the balance of terrestrial ecosystems causing a domino effect of unforeseen consequences. Then, there's the human factor. Our lives could be altered in ways we can't yet fully comprehend. Would we become prey to these new terrestrial hunters? Or would we find ways to coexist? While the evolution of land sharks remains purely hypothetical, it's fascinating to consider the potential implications. It reminds us of the power of evolution and the delicate balance of our ecosystems. What other hypothetical scenarios would you like us to explore next? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narrations.